just in case you were ever curious about how I live my facial life, this is what we're doing today. I have just put myself together for today's interview. I rarely put on a full hair and makeup situation, but here we are and I wanted to bring you in on the fun. The first thing that I do is I get my hair out of my face because I need to wash my face, put my face mask on to give myself a little bit of extra hydration for the camera, exfoliate and moisturize. While I'm waiting for this stuff to set in, I play with my doggy Baxter. He's a good pup. He's a real good boy. I love eye cream. Eye cream is life. Moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Clean canvas. I can start my makeup. So today is all about showing you as many products as I can think of that help me get ready for interview day. If you know me well, you know I don't really wear a lot of makeup. I'm a high low maintenance. My hair done, my eyelashes done. Other than that, it's pretty much lip gloss and uh, brow liner for me. I'm gonna take you through my makeup. I want to thank Shannon Dobson for the amazing unique makeup that I have. I'll be testing that out for the first time today. I piece together a lot of different makeup and products. I try to keep things very simple. I try to keep it portable. I don't like a whole bunch of brushes, a whole bunch of hullabaloo. So you're gonna see the simplest way that I put on professional interview makeup. First and foremost, we need to look at the unique precision brow liner medium. I really, really like to put brows on first because it helps frame anything that you're trying with your shadow. Get your brows in line first. I like the sturdiness of this brow color. I do like to layer my brow color. That helps it look more natural. So this medium is a good start, but I'm sorry, Shannon, I'm gonna have to bring out the good old faithful here, the brow stylist definer, dark brunette, L'Oreal. Even though I am quite fair, I need darker for my brows because my hair, that kind of rhymed. I'm adding more real estate this section. <sighs> Looks kind of crazy right now, I look like an evil villain. That is where the brow brush comes in. I just kind of clean up the top of it. It kind of has to become an art form to get your brows the way you want them. Something that I also add, anything that has this kind of a paint. Yeah, you see the little prongs there? Aw. This is a red paint color. I like to drag it through on only official days. I do not take this much time when I'm not supposed to be in front of people or in front of the camera. True, you sometimes have to put the artist and makeup artist just to turn out looking normal. I love the depth that another Auburn color deposits. Actually, on camera it looks almost normal. You have to do so much for a camera to pick up kind of how you would naturally be. This upward brush stroke right here underneath, I think that's important to try to simulate the hairs, the follicle kind of strand stuff that isn't actually growing where I'm placing it. I draw them out a little too close together and just take a little bit off like this. They look kind of good. Yeah, that's probably where I'm gonna keep them today. Thank you, Q-tip. One more time through. Okay, there are my eyebrows. They look real, don't they? Mmm. <laughs> I am a huge fan of shimmer eyeshadow from the Unique Collection, Dainty. So for those of you looking at the poll, this is A. I have had makeup put on my face by other people way better trained than myself ever since I was seven years old and started pageants and talent competitions. I got into a professional makeup chair when I was 10 years old, so my face was done by Disney for about seven years. And then I've had a long career of theatrical makeup and uh, self-application, kind of learning what works for my face. I've gotten it down for myself, but I've also taken plenty of advice from the beauty professionals. It's always good to have a base of a light something on your eye. Here is just the Dainty Unique eyeshadow cream. I love it. If you want to vote just A, that this is your favorite, that's what that is. It's so pretty and it's so delicate. If I were just doing a normal day of work, this stuff would be really fun to wear. But because my eyes are almond shaped and they're smaller, I like to bring more depth to them. Tenacious from Unique. Another eyeshadow cream. The consistency, it reminds me of a peep, right? Like it kind of, it's like a, it just reminds me of peep. So I like to put depth in the crease, basically where it folds. Ooh, okay, a little bit more. Once I get it in the crease, then I just go up a little bit. It creates more depth. All right, I 
like that. If you're looking for a super duper dramatic look, like showy look, this stuff is more subtle. But I love this because this doesn't make me look like I'm stepping onto a Vegas stage. This is really like beautiful stuff. And I could layer a whole bunch on, but I'm just trying to give you the, the gist of it. One more layer for television. Yes. If you vote for B, there it is on. I think A and B are the most useful palettes. What is just super fun, and I can already see like how cool it looks with my hair. Letter C, this is called assertive. I'm gonna put this on assertively. I don't usually put on eyeliner with a brush. I don't even have a brush eyeliner, so that's how high maintenance I am. I'm gonna put some of this underneath. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so there's a little bit there. It is a little more solid than the other two. Wow, look at the difference. Really cool. Very dramatic. I love it. And honestly, for television, it's not too much. Stage lights eat up my makeup. It's like I'm wearing nothing, even though I've, I've put so much on. So I'm definitely going with this today. Super fun. It's not as easy to brush around, but that's why we have brushes. And that's why you put on moisturizer and then a layer underneath this so that it does not get caught in your creases. I just realized maybe I'm supposed to be adding this with my fingers, but that's okay. Yeah, it's a really cool look. I'm gonna do a quick wet wipe cleanup. You just wanna make sure all of that extra powder is off. And now I get to try this concealer. Yay! Skin Perfecting Concealer from the Mineral Touch Collection from Unique. I also have Stick Foundation. An overall cover-up is not something I use ever, but I do have plenty of areas on my skin where I have rosacea, where I have uh, little flare-ups. I actually use my finger as my blender. I have not found a sponge that I like. Again, I never put on all of this in a normal day because I am too lazy. I definitely target my cheeks, my chin, around my nose, sometimes places on my forehead. For me, it's about evening out my skin color. Okay, so this is good. Now blending is good. Thanks. Shannon did a great job. It totally matches my face. Stick Foundation Rocks. Scarlet is my color. Now I don't have any powder yet from Unique. Thrive Cosmetics. Soft Focus HD Setting Powder. Powder, again, is something I really steer away from unless I am going on camera. Having a good powder is important for those professional moments. Blend, 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 blend. Dab, 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 dab. Dab, dab, dab. It's really good. Yay, I'm happy girl. When I'm just running around, I have plenty of rosy cheeks, but now I've just covered them up. I have Thrive Cosmetics Maggie. A little goes a long way. Like a little bit of a rosy cheek. I also use this on my eyes as a like a cranberry. You gotta blend it. See how I look like a clown right now? This comes in handy. This little sponge for the face is the Benevolent Touch A La Mode cream to powder luminizer. This stuff, I love it. This is my second favorite thing. Like basically for my cheekbone, right there. And then I use my finger and I blend. I just love it. And it's so creamy, it feels so good. Thank you, Unique. Thank you, Shannon. Ooh, blending some of this too is probably super helpful. Wet wipes will never be out of my regimen. All about that 80s shimmer cat eye right there. Because I get my eyelashes done professionally, my top row. All I need to worry about is just a basic waterproof mascara for the bottom layer here. And as usual, I need to clean up under my eyes with a Q-tip. Love it. Lip liner for me, it's more of a necessity because the smallness of my lip shape. I like to draw a heart-shaped top lip. I chose plush Moonstruck Precision Pencil from Unique, but I would probably go with a darker liner for me now that I've tried it on because I guess I'm plush. So another product I sometimes use is from Mary Kay. Chocolate, see? It just defines the lip. Unique has plenty of colors. I just have to find the right one. And then we have one of my favorite products from Unique. It's the Stiff Upper Lip Lip Stain. Sleek. Now it's not a gloss, so it's going to feel dry once it soaks in. This is a really beautiful red. I would love to get one in a more daytime color. There's my top lip. Hello, top lip. To finish out my lips, I have two Thrive Cosmetics glosses. Ashley is beautiful if you want to amplify this red and just like elegant evening situation. This stuff I would use by itself as well. Because I am going on a daytime 
television type interview, I'm gonna use this pink called Charlotte to mute this color a little bit. And a little goes a long way on little lips. There's that. This is one of my favorite items ever. Very similar to the A La Mode Cream to Powder Illuminator from Unique. Thrive Cosmetics, this is a smaller version, an eye brightener called Stella. This helps me feel like I'm awake when I'm not really. I usually use this when I don't have any makeup on, so I can't not tell you about it since I'm being fair and honest about all products. There you have it, folks. That's my makeup for the day. So my hair is super easy to do with this amazing cut and color, again from LK Beauty Salon. I just got my hair done yesterday, so it is flat in a healthy way. I take Verb dry shampoo, I do all the things, and I just take it everywhere! Sometimes I have to do this twice. Bicep. Fabulous. When I'm supposed to look super duper presentable, I take a rod and I just make a lot of messy curls kind of the bang area forward so that it frames my face the messier the better the results are going to be edgy and not full-on ringlets which is why i use a rod instead of hair curler because then the ends stay away see from the ringlet yeah oh that's nice messy messy once i've gotten this basic structure i gotta do something quick to keep it that way because it's so healthy right now it'll fall so i do big sexy hair this is the spray and play harder so i really just go for it especially on this relatively first day hair yeah you see how that's just messy but it just works spray the ends so i let this dry the more height i can build here the better it'll be once it dries and there you go a great on-the-go hairspray is Frizzy's Moisture Barrier. This stuff is a must. Anywhere tropical, take your Frizzy's. Well, thanks for joining me. Hope it was helpful. You know all the products that I use now. Maybe once a month when I actually take this much time to get ready. Thank you so much to all of these products for helping me in my life. Thank you to Shannon Dobson for my unique products. Wish me luck on my interview. By the time you see this, it will already have happened, but I'm very excited. Have a great day, everyone.